Hey, this is Aka Coleman. I'm in Miss Kigur. This is a uh, Mac versus PC. There's some talk on retail stores and uh, markets, you know, shopping markets. Uh, well, ever since the release of the f Apple Store, the first Apple Store, uh, you know, it's been really great success. Uh, and Jobs, uh, I was watching some videos. And Steve Jobs talked about how they wanted to expand their market, not just you know online and all this stuff, but you know, really get it out in retail stores. And at first, they were just gonna, you know, use the store as, you know, to show off their new, you know, Macintoshes and etc. And I even saw the first uh, Mac and um, Apple uh, Apple Store introduction, and he was talking about how he wanted to expand their market. You know, they they already made up five percent of the market. Uh, you know, uh, Microsoft or Windows has pretty much a, a lot of the market share, but uh, he had they had five percent at Apple. They want to get another half, of five percent, which is a lot of people. And now we're talking about the world here, and that's what mainly what Apple, uh, the Apple Store is focused on getting the other five percent of the, uh, you know, consumers. And that's exactly what it did. And you know, with lot, the Apple Stores are amazing. I've been to one in this uh, Los Angeles. It was a long time ago. I I don't really remember. I remember when I took a look at it. it was a pretty compact one, but uh, I remember there was a Genius Bar. I'm pretty sure it was a silvery. You know, the the story just had this. You know, it was Apple design all over. You know, they what they put in their products, they put in the store, which is awesome. And it was like so neat, and all it was like just nicely, you know, designed. Uh, I wasn't really back, really, really into computers back then. But uh, this is when they first released the iMac, uh, and not the iMac, uh, the uh, yeah, yeah, the iMac, but not the very, very first iMac. Uh, I'm talking about the flat screen with Apple EyeSight. This is when they was, uh, you know. And what I was really interested was with the photo booth. That was the first thing, you know, what was a lot of people played with on the things. And my sister was showing me because she wanted one. And, uh, that's when she got her uh, notebook, her Mac notebook, but. She was showing how you can, you know, play around with these photo booths, and I got really, I was playing around with the light tunnel and all that stuff. I was amazed by all the features it had. But, uh, uh, you know, the the stores, the retail stores, especially with the release of the new 27th floor, uh, in uh, Fifth Avenue, New York, in the center of Manhattan, their second store in New York. You know, they're they're going for, their hot their hot spots at the stores are usually around New York. Or around that area of the United States, more up, more up. Uh, I guess that would be not. I'm not sure. I want to say uh, northwest, but you know, up around. Uh, that's not. That's not northwest. I'm not. You know, screwed up in directions right there. But uh, around. You know, around the New York area and towards down. But they got. You know, they got some all all over the world. Agreed. But you know, they're what they're. That your talk should be working. What they're working on is internationally going into places like Japan, which is a big, you know, a big uh, partner. App, uh, not partner, big uh, place where Apple is one of the num uh, Macs are the number one computer sold in Japan. So Tokyo, they have a great supply of Apple uh, products, uh, as well as you know, uh, you know, places they need to get to like Europe, where iPods aren't even really iPods. You know, they're not even really a uh, that in a uh, how would I say they're not really in that in in a large number of stock down there as they were talking about, so they're probably gonna be heading for the key points as they do in the states already, uh, as where they got most of their market share. You know they head for the key points like New York, uh, Manhattan area. That's where they got the first Apple store, and then they needed more space. And the one in Fifth Avenue just has a cube, but it's made out of glass. And it's just amazing, you know, with all the stories it has and the it just the way they design their products, you can tell, goes into the way they design pretty much everything. The store has neatly with the displays all, oh, and you know they have the one thing that you know is really great and that what sets Apple apart from Microsoft. They have great customer support. They have, you know, the Genius Bar. They have everything like you know they have the studio and all the all those places where you can just get your questions answered and. uh they they give you you know complete control you know a lot of places uh that I've seen that sell PCs and stuff don't let you access the internet at the all Apple stores have airport hooked up and they let you uh even I've seen people in the Apple store 
uh, directly use YouTube's di uh, quick capture, what I use also, uh, with using the Apple Eyesight, you know, it's just crazy, you know, that they, they let the people try it out, and they have the notebooks set up to Airport Extreme, so, I mean, sorry, not Air Extreme, uh, Airport, the wireless in uh, connection, internet connection, so you can just feel how it is portably, you can walk around, you know, the Apple Store and check it out, and the Apple bags, everybody loves the Apple bags, you know, that you get with your products. You know, uh, they have uh, magazines as well. They sell s great software, gaming, uh, products, all of it, you know, for protectors for their iPods to, you know, to airport modems. All, all those stuff is just, you know, Apple has a lot of products in their store, and they put a lot of the uh, design and effort uh, as a DRB UK. His video was talking about Jonathan Ive and the designing he brings to, you know, the products, I would probably say, you know, the architecture and everything that goes into the store and retail of Apple. This is why it's becoming a big part of market share, because a lot of people go to the Apple store now with it op being open 24-7, 365, meaning uh, 24 seven hours, you know, 24-7. So it's going to be great. You know, Apple's really going to get a lot of uh, market share out of this and increase the popularity, because... The Apple stores are, as a as their slogan is, think different. They have great amount of, uh, you know, they always have things in stock. They always have, you you know, you can test stuff out. You can have, it's like almost an infinite supply of stuff in there. You have software. You have hardware. You have, you know, the cinemas. You have the, dis you have the, I mean, displays. You have the, all the accessories you need are in the store, all ready to go. You know, you don't have to go, and they have them all labeled for you off, and they have, great customer support like over six places you can get you know support just from in the uh in the store so you know that's all about it for now but just a little talk about apple's retail stores and how apple stores are really helping increase the one the uh one the popularity of apple the you know market shares and everything uh the what else is there the the growth of Apple, pretty much, and, you know, just the, the, again, the popularity of Apple is just highly increasing when the, a lot of their sales go into ba making the Apple stores, yeah, just like the Fifth Avenue one, that's an amazing building, check that out, one. check that out, it's Apple, Apple store in Fifth Avenue, New York, Google it or type it on YouTube, you'll see great videos, but check it out, and, you know, but, again, they get much, much more profit, probably, from what they sell, and, the stores. Uh, anyway, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. This is just a this is just a Mac versus PC video. Uh, again, thanks for watching.